What I really love about Southridge is its warm and welcoming spirit, which, it's, which it fosters among its students and community. Um, I haven't always been in Southridge. I first moved here when I was in fourth grade. And as a child, when I was much younger, I always felt anxious whether or not my new school would be as welcoming or as warm as I'd want it to be. And take it from someone who has explored and exhausted his time and efforts into finding such a place when I tell you that Southridge is the best place for you to be in when you're looking for that warm, welcoming, and accepting spirit. Apparently, yes, I feel confident uh, about Southridge preparing me for college life, but I believe in the saying that fear always comes first before confidence. There is a sort of fear factor for first-time experiences or first discoveries. That's why uh, that motivates me to conquer that fear so that I will be able to conquer my college life and try to manifest the social skills I was able to learn here in Southridge. Having a mentor during my years of stay in Southridge, for me it was very, very beneficial and very, very helpful. Um, a mentor in Southridge is someone who is assigned to you, a teacher who is assigned to you, and who is always there to hear you out and to help you with any concerns or problems or struggles that you may have. A mentor also acts as your guide throughout your, throughout your years in Southridge. So for my personal experience, a mentor has always sort of been an older brother or kuya figure, if you would, in the school that I can always lean on or talk to if I need help or if I have any concerns or problems and to also share my experiences and life events with. One word is family. Because for me, all of us here are a part of one big happy family. You know, I feel like we have that deep connection and we are bound by our faith. That's why I'm pretty confident to say that even if we were to leave Southridge, definitely that bond between us would not be broken. After all, we spent so many years together and those experiences and memories we have together, of course, we will cherish them forever. I think the most important life lesson that I learned in Southridge is that you have to keep moving forward. Like, no matter what happens, you get a bad grade in a test, you're not feeling well, whatever, you always have to look forward and look to the next objective and look to the next um, thing that you have to complete. And if you keep doing that, over time, you're going to reach all your goals, no matter how long it takes, as long as you get there in the end.